What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach y'all how I or how you guys can bump up that conversion rate by using some social proof, good design, free websites, free images, and let's go ahead and just jump right into my computer. So the first thing that I wanna get into when you're trying to bump up your conversion rate is the aesthetic professionalism of the brand. Now when you're looking at your brand, is it a brand that you would buy from? Yes or no? Is it a brand that looks clean? concise and professional? Is it something that has social proof, other people using the product and or service? Does it look clean, high quality? Some of you guys send me some of your stores and they are not a store that I would buy from. And I say that all to say that there are some free ways in software and, and products and services that you guys can use to make your aesthetic and your brand appear to be more um, more seasoned than it actually is. So I'm going to show you guys an example by taking this. This is a product that I got. I'm gonna be pretending like I'm creating Instagram and website content for. Now when you buy wholesale, another question that people ask me is, so first, are you allowed to use the images? First thing you have to realize is that these wholesalers are not retailers. Some of them are, but most of them aren't and their goal is to sell more products. So if you are a vendor trying to sell their products, they're gonna be willing to give you anything that they can to make you generate more sales, which actually generates them more sales. So is it against the law? No. Is it something that you can do? Yes. Can you ask for permission? Yes. But it's kind of already assumed. I would say it's 50-50% already assumed, but then there are brands that have the capital as well as the team that's able to take product photos. But literally, reach out to any brand that you buy wholesale from and ask them if they have any product shots and they're going to send it to you. You guys can actually go ahead and check out a full video on my shopping experience in downtown LA and I will go ahead and link that here. So now I have products, I have photos, and I have even a video. So now I'm gonna go to one of my favorite sites, which is Canva. And Canva is great because it allows you to create content for your website, for your IG stories, for your ads, for your thumbnails. There's literally everything that you can think of on Canva. With this video, I'm gonna go ahead and create an IG story. Videos are great for conversion, and it's also great for social proof, which is gonna allow you to get more sales as well as um, people to your site. I'm not gonna say it allows you to get more sales. Sales depend on a number of things, but I definitely say video content definitely does better um, to generate conversions in my experience rather than still images, especially depending on the product. So in Canva, you have so many templates to choose from. Here are a few that I like. You can just go ahead. What I like to do is I like to open up a few of them and kind of see which one I like and which one I gravitate towards. And then you can kind of see which aesthetic you're trying to go for. Another great thing with Canva is say, for example, I see this one, but my aesthetic is like baby pink because millennial pink is just so popular. So you can make these all different types of color, you can change the font, you can change pretty much everything. So what I like to do is I don't necessarily like to go for something with the color scheme that I like. I look for templates with really good um, structure, really good bones so that I can just kind of go in and fix it how I want. For example, this. This is really good for beauty um, and it's also good for any other product. As you can see, you can see the product in use, you can see the person using it, you can see that it's darkening her lashes, and then it also has a percentage off, which is great because it shows people that there's a discount and they're seeing the product in use. So that is a very good um, IG story to use. So now you guys are asking, okay sis, just get right into it. Now this company had a video that they already had. So I'm gonna go ahead and just screen record this video and then as I screen record this video, I can go ahead and upload it straight into Canva and then I can drag it and drop it. And now my video's in the back. So as you can see, I created an IG story, a potential IG ad, just by using free content from the wholesaler. You do not have to reinvent content if you don't have the camera or the footage or the quality or even the time and effort to do these things. Most of these wholesalers have these things readily available for you. It's all about you asking. Then you can go ahead and add your branding by changing the colors, adding your logo, creating a logo. There's so many things that you guys can do with Canva. 
um, that allow you just to be more of a professional when it comes to your brand. Now, the second thing I want to touch on is just reaping the consistency. They have templates readily available for you so that you can basically just import the content that you have. I would say that it's a really good mix to add the content that you create yourself as well as professional product photos, um, product photos so that you have a good balance of social proof and professionalism. So now you can go into Canva and now that we have our IG stories down, we're gonna look for an IG feed. So IG feed, go right into Canva. You can scroll through these and you see these ones right here. They're like beauty. This one's super clean and it's beauty. Then you can go ahead and add your branding by changing the colors, adding your logo, creating a logo. There's so many things that you guys can do with Canva um, that allow you just to be more of a professional when it comes to your brand. Canva also allows you to use their images for free. So when you are using the vendor photos as well as the free stock photos that are on Canva, those can come off very professional and help you out for a start. But it's really, really, really important for your integrity and then overall look of your brand to also include some casual photos of yourself or others. Obviously, I'm doing this as an example, so I don't really have too much to show for. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that this is just an example. Make sure that you are not insinuating that the people in the stock photos are getting results from the product and our service that you are selling. So as you can see, we kind of can create like an aesthetic just by using Canva. That's gonna make our brand look a little bit more polished. Um, I also understand that when you're starting, designing these things from scratch can be a little bit hard. So let's go ahead and just use these. There's so much information you can immerse yourself with. There's so many methods, tactics, videos, content that you can watch. But the most important thing is your mindset and your ability to keep trying and to keep going and your ability to believe in yourself that you can create a business and you can do it and you can love it and you can put time and effort and energy into it and that it's something that can be yours. And when you're on this journey, it can be very frustrating because sometimes people don't understand you. Sometimes you're the first in your family, the first in your friend group, and you're trying to do something outside of the norm and people just don't understand you. So listen to audiobooks, listen to people, listen to stories, listen to businesses that are going to fuel you with what you need to keep you going and to keep you learning in different lights and to fuel you and feed you with information that you don't really get on a day-to-day -day basis. There's so many audiobooks that you could choose from on Audible. My personal favorite, as I mention all the time, especially in these business videos, because it's so important that while you're working and while you're starting out on a business journey that you have your mindset right and you feel inspired and you also feel like you can actually do it. So some audiobooks that are my favorite of, I love these, I love marketing books, I also love um, personal stories on people who have created businesses, as well as just being tip top on different marketing strategies, as well as methods that you can use in social media. If you guys are new to business and you guys are frustrated, if you feel like there is no guidance, listen to a audiobook. You can listen to one audiobook for free within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru, or you can text findguru to 500-500. Listen to something that's going to free your mind. A mindset is everything. Taking some of these photos that they already gave us for free and adding these to the Canva pages so that, because these are actual results and products from this company. Um, so it's basically, you're just an extension of that company, of that product. So it just allows you to um, use what they already have and what they've already been able to create to help boost your brand. And then when you have the money and the capital, then you can go ahead and do your own and have your own photo shoots and things like that. Canva also has different templates that you can choose from. This would really be cute. And this is a complete online store template. And as you can see, they basically created the whole website for you. All you have to do is plug in your information. So you can go ahead and just change this to, let's call this company Pure. And then you could insert information about the brand all of that, change all of these photos to the photos that we got for free from the site. Let's go ahead and import all of those in. Cause these are really great um, and they're very detailed. And for a product like this, people wanna make sure that they're getting something of quality. So you just drag and drop that in there. 
and everything looks good. You can add the photos that the brand gave you permission to use and there you have a more polished brand. I will say that doing little things like this really help the conversion rate with your overall store because now you have social proof, you have high quality photos, you have um, photos that look like they were taken on their phone which are very authentic, you have people. The next thing that you wanna add is reviews. Try different ways to have your company, um, the people who have already supported your brand leave reviews. Also added um, incentives for people who leave reviews, percentages off for people who leave reviews. I would say the first step based off of what I've seen in trying to boost your conversion rate is boosting the appearance of your brand. Another thing that I want to touch in this video is if you do have a little bit of money to spend and you don't want to design and you don't want to put time and effort doing this or it's just not your thing, you can go to a site called Fiverr. Fiverr is great because you can find anything on Fiverr and it depends what you want to look for when you go on Fiverr because you could find things for the low, but if you're asking for the most, you're probably gonna pay the most. Uh, not the most, but you're gonna pay more. So on Fiverr, you can find people to um, design your logos. So let's go ahead and look at logo designers. So here you can see there's different type of logos that you have. If you wanna be a little bit more niche, you can go ahead and do like beauty logos. Let's see. So for example, something like this. This is very beauty, this is very like this is something that you can put on a beauty page and you can pay them. The starter pack is only $10 and you get a four day delivery. You get logo transparency, high resolution and a 3D mockup. So that's basically everything that you need to put on Canva. Now, what is transparency? Transparency, so for example, let's use Shopify since we're using Shopify. So when you're adding things into Canva, you want the background to be blurry. You don't want like a white square. So to find transparency, you can see that when you're looking for a PNG image, you're gonna want something with the checkers. But if something appears to be checkered at the search when you're, when you're looking at it on the screen, it's not going to be transparent when you drag it. You wanna look for something that has a white background, but then when you click it, the checkers pop up. So that one isn't transparent. This one isn't transparent. This one isn't transparent. Oh, let me put transparent background. You see how the background became checkered after the fact? So then you would just go ahead and drag it. Thank you. And then you see, that one was perfect. You see how it is clear and there's no background, but then when you click it, it becomes transparent. This is what we want. There, the logo is transparent. So basically, when you buy this fiber pack, you're going to be able to get a transparent logo as well. You can also do this in Photoshop, but that's a little extra. If you want a video on something like that, I can go ahead and do that as well. Just adding your branding to the page, making an aesthetic, making it professional, that alone boosts the conversion rate so high. Um, there's not anything around it. People want to buy from brands that make them feel like they're going to get the product, the product's gonna be great quality, um, there's, there's gonna be a certain level of professionalism, and attention to detail when they are spending their hard-earned money on the product or service from your brand. So basically, Fiverr is the plug if you do not want to do any of the design work yourself. Another question people have been asking me is how much to buy when you first get started. That's, a, that's something you have to figure out on your own. I also have a video that I will link here on um, how much I bought as well as you finding ways to go around even buying in the inventory, such as drop shipping or such as having a very close relationship with a manufacturer and allowing them, allowing you to put items on the store that you haven't bought yet. But once the item gets sold, then you go ahead and buy the product. So I will go ahead and link that video over here as well. And then if you guys are looking for wholesale vendors yourself and you don't um, and you haven't come to LA or you don't know where to start there's so many websites like fashion go and others that I will go ahead and list here the only thing is is if you want to shop on these sites you have to you have to have a seller's permit a seller's permit is very quick and easy to get with simple steps in California I'm not sure what the process looks like in other states but I have a whole video on things that you basically need before you really get started and I will go ahead and link that here um, 
A seller's permit is as easy as getting an EIN from um, your government website and then applying for a seller's permit. After you apply for a seller's permit, you go on this website, you put your seller's permit in. Sometimes they make you add two different invoices. If you are a completely new wholesaler, sometimes you can reach out to the company directly via email or phone number. Say you're new, say you're from Miami or North Carolina or Florida, and you don't have the ability to go out and shop, but you're, you are somebody who's new then they can go ahead and approve you, approve you, and then you can go ahead and look through the site. One thing you don't wanna do is bring a whole bunch of traffic to your page when your page is a complete mess, whether that's your Instagram page or your website. Build up the aesthetic, build up the professionalism, and then allow people to come to your store where they feel safe and where they feel inspired to buy. Then after you've developed the brand and the visuals, then you could go ahead and do ads, work with influencers, um, do Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and then you'd be in a very good position to get better conversion rate than you are now. The first step is so important. Create a brand that looks established, that looks professional, that looks like there's actually love, time, and effort put into it because people want to spend their money where it's valued. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions and want any more elaborations, go ahead and put some suggestions down below in the description box. Don't forget you can get your first audiobook for free within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text find guru to 500 500. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.